I do not understand. Does Arasaka not have enough of its own people? Look around, sir. Things are heating up in the city. Zoots know one spark's all it takes for Japan Town to go up in flames. Riots are always best put down by folks not sporting your brand name. Ah, you are here. Goro, good to see you. As it is to see you, V. I acquired some information of my own. Do you know who most wished to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? His murderer. The irony makes me sick. What's in it for Yorinobu? Doesn't seem like the kind who care to honor tradition. That is so. Japanese heritage is one element. Yorinobu will also put on a display of power. The floats are sure to be beautiful, but the wizened eye will see in them a hidden message to his foes. What message would that be? I am here, Gumin Domo. Watch your backs. Not one for subtlety, is he? Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. The dash floats will pass precisely this way. If I could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I could speak with her in private. Get there how? Why jump? Of course. You're not shit crazy. In front of a crowd. What about security or- You need not to worry. While you are occupied with your shady dealings, I learned more about the floats. They are all kept in one place, Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need only to break into the compound, find the right float and inject a virus into its system. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. Lots of ways to skin this particular cat, you know. Gonna need- I know what you need. It is taken care of. I have an infected shard. It was not cheap, but the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. Where'd you get this shard? Across the canal. Kabuki? <laughs> Might actually be half decent soft then. And if it isn't, got a few tricks up my sleeve too. This is good to know. Let us move on. To take control of the float is one thing, but not all. The security concerns me, the snipers especially. I will be an easy target. But I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the city cameras. If we gain access to them, we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advance. Sounds like a plan. You agree just like that? The risks are considerable. Yeah, well, getting more and more used to that. And now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shard. The camera control room is in front of us. You must get inside and infect the network, that is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? I will not touch alcohol. At work. I will watch your back. Now, get to it.
fucking worked. And? Done. System's ours. The shard works. Good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss that... Sid, I have not eaten since yesterday. Give me the best on the menu. I highly recommend the uh, yakitori today. Anything that isn't local, please. See you tomorrow. Can't believe I'm saying this, but this Saka scum might actually prove useful. He's a well-trained dog, needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flatline him. Chill, Johnny. He's Saka scum to you, I know that. But Garo's not a bad guy. Not a bad guy. He was Saburo fucking Arasaka's bodyguard. Think his pretty eyes landed in that gig? What is this? Hey, Yakitori. Okay, I have laid the plan. One, we break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half, we hack Hanako-sama's float. Two, during the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Three, I get onto the float. Four, I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. Well, sounds like a suicide run, but done dumber shit than this, so... Things even more stupid than stealing from Arasaka. None dumber yet, no. Set the bar pretty high with that one. Now, we part. Reconnaissance is required. You're a stranger in a strange land. I'm going with you. Hmm, true. And you with your hands, skills, mind of a thief. Agreed. This we will do together. Cook! Louder! Louder! Yorinobu. In the flesh. He eliminated the last obstacle between himself and the complete power. They surrendered it to him. What do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that not a... Arasaka. An empire built to last. Before Yorinobu set fire to it from the inside. All of this began with him. The factions. Power struggles. All of this. Ksa! Where's Yorinobu's rebellious streak come from? No one knows this. Perhaps soon I shall ask him in person. Got factions inside Arasaka? What are they? There are three. Kiji, Hato, and Taka. Kiji longs for stability. The old order. They are united behind Hanako-sama. The liberal wing, Hato. Support Michiko-sama. Saburo's granddaughter. I know little about her. And then there is Taka, treacherous dogs who support Yorinobu. Not to mention even smaller factions. Who... Tell me about them some other time. Why'd Saburo tolerate it all? Can't get my head around it. Could've kept his son on a short leash. Arasaka-sama was a strong and disciplined man. The strongest man I have ever known. And yet, at a critical moment, he showed a weakness. For Yorinobu? 
for his daughter. When Yorino formed his band of hounds, declared war on his own family, Arasaka-sama could have crushed him with one word. Yet he did not, for he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorino returned, his tail between his legs, she persuaded her father to give him a second chance. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorinobu from the consequences of his deeds. Feels like that's about to change. Long as we get Hanako to believe our version of events. Conscience could also come into play. Assuming she's got one. We must reach her first. Will you join me? Sure, why not? Let us go from here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come again. So dust and plastic. Come. I have found a good place to observe. We must just climb up here. Now, this way. Fortune smiles to us. It seems no one is here today. I would call this a beautiful view of the city, if... If? If there was anything to admire. Hate Night City that much. Hmm, perhaps I am simply homesick, as you say. Now, you must look for vulnerabilities, weaknesses, while I try to think of a diversion. Arasaka cannot discover our intentions. A bit of sabotage is just what we need to divert their attentions. You will have the best view on the left. I will try here. This old scope should be good for something. Shall we begin? Let's do this. Got eyes on the comm system. It's a lot of guards. I could use comms for a diversion. Looks like a service tunnel by the road there. It could lead to the warehouses. Footbridge, but it's guarded. We will use it to enter if there's no other way. Transformer by the wall. See it? We should use it to step up. This is not bad. Antenna. Security hub is liable to be in that building. Perfect for sabotage. I think I've seen everything. We have what we came for. So, we going in? Hmm. Is this what you said before entering Kampeki Plaza? I wish to be certain. We have not overlooked anything. We should wait and observe. 
If nothing out of the ordinary happens, then yes, we go in then. Sounds sensible. Better get comfy. <coughs> B. What? what? No sudden movements. Do you see it? That cat? Fine looking feline. Thought they'd all disappeared from the city. It is the first animal I see in Night City, except cockroaches, of course. First it was birds, then dogs. Cats actually put up a fight longest. Perhaps it is a bacchanico. A bacchanico? What's that? It is a cat spirit. It brings misfortune. Can restore the dead back to life. Believe in ghosts? The relic let you talk to the dead, does it not? I believe we are past belief. My grandmother knew many, many stories about Kitsune, Kappa, Bakeneko too. Where'd you grow up, anyway? I am from the slums of Chiba 11. Once when I was desperate to leave there, I... Ah, bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood. Childhood memories. <laughs> Let's see. Hopping buildings, running away from badges, iron taste of blood from a split lip. I remember the chemical stench of the canal, where we boys washed our shirts. Corporate transporters sometimes passed through our slum. Arasaka selecting children, but only the clean ones. Let me guess, so they could turn them into Corvo soldiers? Exactly. When they chose me, I felt I had won the lottery. In the army, I was given everything I lacked before. Discipline, regular meals, and when I proved I was gifted, an education. So how's a corpo rookie go from cleaning latrines to being Saburu Arasaka's bodyguard? The highest grades at the academy, service in the special forces, and Arasaka-sama's unmatched eye for talent. You're not saying Saburo fell for you at first sight. To make the right decisions with imperfect knowledge, that is how you become the world's most powerful man. 100 candidates standing at attention, and Arasaka-sama looked into each of our souls and chose the one who would serve him best. And all he had to do in return was kill Saburo's enemies. I sense that you judge me, and yet you have no right to. Unlike you and your friend Mr. Wells, I was not arrogant. I did not take the easy path. Wasn't judging you. And true, you oppose the corporations, their order, their world, in a mindless way, yet you offer no worthy alternative. Take a look around. It's here, your corporate world in its glorious splendor. You show me filthy streets as if no other world exists as if nothing else is possible. What of the millions who work for Arasaka and receive stability, safety... The Chiba 11 slum rats? They're there, scraping scraps out of scop tins. Corpse decided that, too. We cannot fix everything at once. You already forget what happened at Tom's diner? 
People hate corpse more than anything. Can't blame him either. Got some regrets, but clapping from Arasaka ain't one of them. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad, to leave this world, forget everything. Never too late to change. What is your expression? One cannot teach an old dog new tricks. Do you know what I think? What's that? That day in Kompeki, we both have lost someone important. And we are not at peace with this. So we seek conflict, argue eagerly. Finally starting to make some sense. It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Hanako-sama shall aid us in our mission. Or she'll make sure we die for good. The Bakanenko got sick of us, looks like. It will find its own way. As will we. I think it is time to do something, hmm? Oh, fuck, get worse! You do not look so bad. I'll be in touch. The diversionary action, that is mine. I'm in. Good. Now try to enter the warehouse. I will draw their attention away. An officer who works the third guard shift at a warehouse outside town. You'll have to make do, and the children will have to make do with the food we can afford. Had it right. Got an access point to the security systems. Excellent. I am also making progress.
Resistance is useless. Okay, uh -huh. I'm in. Find the largest float. They are controlled from inside. The tech. It could be an ordinary terminal. Gotcha. How's things at your end? Good. I will reach the control room and make a terrible mess. Very well. I am ready. When you finish, I'll make the system sick.
boat's ours to do with as we please. A flight to Tokyo, one. Tahara, I just may do that. Good work. Now it is my turn. Can you see? Terrible chaos. Even the room is slowly. Me, the roof. That is your will. There are buildings around. Smaller ones. Use them to come down. Reinforcements are here. Excellent work, B. Okay, what now? Now we retreat into the shadows and arm ourselves with patience. I will contact you before the parade. Until then, try not to get into any more trouble. <laughs> As if I wasn't in enough already. It's your lucky day. If you're serious about making headway in Pacifica, that is. Work some magic for me? As I said, whatever you're offering, the V-Boys could not, I quote, give a shit. You can be received, I trust. Yet a counteroffer was forthcoming. A gig. Successful completion thereof could earn you an audience with Brigitte. Gig? Any hints on what it might be? Doesn't matter. Will it sway you? It's clear you don't intend to refuse. You'll learn all in due course. Besides, I didn't ask. Getting a word out of the voodoos is like pulling alligator teeth. Painful for everyone involved. Okay, so who do I contact next? Church, Sloan Lane. Inside by the altar. They'll know to look for you. Got it. Thanks, Hans. Real news. You're back. Real music. Hey, V! Come here! Hey, Mitch. You doing okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing all right, but, uh... Meh. So many dead. So many of them good friends, too. Do you know what it's like to lose your best friend? Yeah. Name was Jackie. Uh-huh. How'd he go? Like everyone goes in Night City. Anyway, come on. Help me out with something. What? Some loose ends. Final goodbye. I don't much want to do it alone. Okay, I'll help. Come on, then. You're okay behind the wheel, right? Yeah, and? We're going for a drive. Uh-huh. And found. where? I can what? tell you're a city Who's boy. You want to know everything. Now. Yesterday. He had it since he was a, child. a little patience, V. Are you dirt boys and dirt girls in the audience? Here in the Aldecaldos, it all stays in the family. Used to be scorpions, that rig. Now she belongs to me. And my old girl's right next to it. Nice wheels. Both of them. Damn right. Out here, those wheels are our life. I'll take scorpions, you hop in the other. Seriously, where are we going? One of scorpions' favorite spots. I owe him one, V. Alright, let's go. Let's hit the road. Follow me. And they really don't want anyone else having that same advantage. Especially our son. Mitch, you hear me? Yep. My friends are more driving, less talking. Seems to have fed that information about Arasaka's secret mass driver to the ESA committee in advance of Arasaka's upcoming lunar contract renegotiations. Ah, uh, sun on my face, wind in my head. Taken drastic action to eliminate anyone. Oh, hey, I haven't seen you in a while. Not a fan of funerals. But hey, yeah. You and death don't really mix. 
Say that like it's my fault. Never asked a burrow to put me on that fucking chip, or for you to slot it in your head. I hope this place isn't too far. Speaking of, where are we going? Not a clue. My, what a good little boy scout. So trusting, so accommodating. It's a scorpion. His last wish or something. Is that good enough for you? Great. Never a dull moment. Holy shit, Mitch! What the hell? Relax, V. It's what Scorpion wanted. He wanted you to stuff him in the trunk like a spare tire? No, he wanted me to take him here. And send him off with a bang. We set him up behind the wheel, douse the car, then light it, let him fly off the edge. I mean, if that's what Scorpion wanted... He did. Said it a million times if he said it at all. Grab me that can, will you? Here you go. Great. Go ahead. Put it in the passenger seat. Uh, I see the driver is already behind the wheel. No point wasting time. Another hour or two and he'll puff up like a balloon. Right. Shall we get this show on the road? Let's do it. Hell yeah. I already got a rag in the can. You light it. I'll start the car. She's burning! Quick, before she blows! May the road be kind to you, friend. Out with a bang. Just like he wanted. Soot and ash. That much remains. So, how about a beer? Sure. I'll drink to a send-off like that. Well, come on. Ah, nothing like a good cold one. Agreed. Hey, speaking of, where'd that nickname come from? Scorpion. Funny. You know, I haven't the slightest idea. Never asked him. Uh, he is Scorpio or something? <laughs> Maybe he had a big stinger. <laughs> ah, Scorpion, you old bastard. I'm gonna miss you, man. Mitch, why me? Why'd you ask me to help? Ah, oh, you seem like a good egg. I'm serious. I don't know, I, uh... I guess the fact that I'm still here to send him off right. That's thanks to you. Your path's crossed. Just for a moment. But damn, was it the right one? Listen. There's a... A few things of his you ought to have. Like this little good luck charm. Go on. It's yours. What is it? Not a clue. Scorpion always had it on him. No idea why. Listen. I'm gonna sit here for a while, alright? Brood in peace. Understood. I'll, uh... I'll be off then. Sure. Listen, if you want, you can take my car back to camp. Whatever works for you. Oh, and, uh... Thanks, V. For today. And for getting me out of that shit back then, too. You're all right. 
You're really all right. 